Hey guys, uh, so this is picking up where we left off in the last uh, video about the Raspberry Pi and uh, hooking up with home automation. So um, I have the Raspberry Pi here from last time. I've got it rigged up to the relays that showed up now. But, um, I've got this hooked up to Alexa, I've got the script updated. So I'll see if I can kick these on here. Alexa. Turn on office lights. Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off office lights. Okay. So as you can see, we've got it all wired up here. Um, and the relays, I'm going to go ahead and wire up to the box that I've got here. Um, I've got a double gang here that will wire this up to. I've got a power cord from an old computer that I used to have. I would not power any devices or uh, any that pull any kind of load because this wire is pretty small, especially compared to the, the Romex. Alrighty guys, uh, so that plug that I had before, or that I just had, uh, turns out that that wire was way too small of a gauge. I put it in here and I tightened it down and it just came loose. Um, so I scrounged around and I found this other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up here. This uh, is the green, so this is ground. So bend this around here. I like to turn this so that when you turn the screw, the wire is pulled around into it, so like the, the rotation of the screw follows the direction of the wire. Um, now on this, on the back here, you can't see it, but uh, it says hot is this side, so I'm going to put the black on that side. Because uh, in these wires, black is hot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch the neutral side with this setup. So what that means is that uh, this wire, I'm gonna loosen this up here. This wire will be the return from the relay. I gotta turn this up so I can get this in here. There we go. Uh, so this wire will fit in here. Now, what I really should be doing, instead of hanging on to this, um, or, or keeping this out, I should be putting it in this box, but this is just a demo. Uh, so for now, I will be plugging this in and keeping my hands, trying to keep them away from the uh, hot wires. And when you have it plugged in, uh, the terminals will be hot, just so you know. Um, so don't do it the way I'm doing it. Um, I have been shocked by electricity many a time, and uh, it's never fun. But that doesn't stop me from doing it this way, so whatever. What I'm trying to do now is put a wire nut on here to twist these together, but this wire is so short see if that worked. Okay, so now the, the white is connected. Um, what I'm gonna do now is bend this so it'll sit how I want it to. I'm going to get this out of the way. So now I can, I can plug this end in to a power strip or my extension cord or something. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna wire these up into the relay box. So I'll go ahead and move this over here. Now these two, I can't remember which one is which, which one I have it set up as kitchen and which one I have it set up as uh, office lights. So on these relays, let me double check that you can see it almost. Okay, move it over here. Okay, so what we wanna do is take one end of this. Uh, remember the black wire is the one connected to um, the receptacle and the white wire is connected to the neutral 
that's going from the from the wall outlet. So we're just going to switch or, or put uh, we'll loosen them up here. Go ahead and put the hot in here, or well, the the uh, neutral, I guess, return maybe. Maybe my wire is too big for that. It should fit. There we go. Play with it a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and tighten this down. Get my hands out of the way so you can see it. Seems to be kind of a cheap relay. Either that or I unscrewed it too far, and now it doesn't want to screw back in. Um, let's see if this one will go in. Okay, uh, so I got this wired up. These relays, I'm not sure. This wire here is a little bit. Uh, bigger I guess than this relay wants to hold. I mean it's only a 12 but still uh, the screw does not want to tighten down all the way. So I've got it in there. It's connected. Um, I'll have to figure out some sort of better connector than what it shipped with maybe possibly. I We'll, we'll see. Uh, but I also have this light here um, that I have plugged in to the outlet. I have the main power cord plugged into an extension cord. So uh, this is hot now. Um, the other side, the side that's laying down on the desk is the hot side, so if you were to grab that now, you'd get zapped. Um, I have it all set up and ready to go now, so uh, we can just uh, kick it on via voice control. Alexa, turn on office light. Okay. Alexa, turn off office light. So uh, yeah, there you go, it works. Um, now you can use this, like the same setup. Basically you just have, you interrupt either the ground or the, the power line coming through. Um, electricity will flow through the relay, so it doesn't really matter which one you, you switch in this case. Um, these relays are rated for uh, 250 volts AC um, or 30 volts DC, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do to get the relays kicking on and off um, using the script. Oh, one other thing on that script that I provided um, in the last video. So in the script here that I was talking about, uh, this is the GPIO handler. This is the part that uh, Alexa makes it visible to Alexa. So when you register, um, I'll put the link to the script in, in below and also a link to the previous video where I explained this script. But what you have to do is change this GPIO output. So you're turning on, this is the, the on function that gets called, and you're setting pin to zero. Uh, for the off, you're setting it to one. Um, so basically you're saying on is false and off is true, with the zero and one here, which doesn't make sense to me, but that's how it has to be to work with the relay. So yeah, that's, that's the part of the script that you need to uh, to update, or if you just pull the latest from the GitHub repo that I have linked, um, then this will be updated. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but but yeah, Alexa, turn on office lights. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, it works. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully uh, it was useful to you. The next video that I do will likely be setting this relay up. I'm guessing in the in the room where the uh, fuse box is. Um, I'll have to run a network cable into that room to mount the Raspberry Pi in there probably. And then I'll have to update the script that I have to control however many of these relays I want to kick on and off right now. Uh, for now, I may just do three or four of them, I'm guessing, outside lights, uh, a couple rooms in here. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll probably be probably be the next video. So if you want to see the next, any of the other projects I'm going to work on, go ahead and click subscribe. It should be right about here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll keep making these. I'll see how it goes along. Uh, I'll plan to do some other stuff here. Um, my son wants a mini tank, so we'll probably get on that project here for too long. 
Um, I've got some remote control stuff. I've got a ton of stepper motors here. I don't know if you saw. I've got about 50 of these um, that I picked up for 10 bucks at a yard sale. So I'll figure out something to do with those. And um, yeah, for now, that's it. Until uh, next time.